Hello guys, today I'm going to show you the installation and assembly of the Declare a polyester panel bed which we purchased from the Wayfair and this one is pretty sturdy bed um, currently it is showing out of stock but um, it comes with the headboard and the panel the one which I am going to install um, is basically the king size one as you see it shows out of stock but uh, pretty nice bed looking at the picture and we'll see that how it looks once we install it the screw is THRE3811 and the uh, site from where I purchased is this uh, wayfair.com uh, the cost of this bed is in 600s uh, that is 608.88 and uh, if you add some discount if you get um, a wayfair discount of 5% then probably it comes down so let's uh, uh, start with the uh, assembling of this bed uh, just want to let you know that uh, this bed comes in two uh, big boxes so uh, one is for the panel this panel and another box is for the uh, bed so let's start so assembly instruction manual is pretty straightforward just one page uh, manual on one side it shows all the uh, components which we are going to need it for uh, the assembling of this uh, bed that is this one and on the back side of this actually it shows that how to um, assemble the bed so that not much is involved the different components which are included with this bed are two footboards uh, sorry one piece footboard that is this one this is the one piece footboard and then second one is two pieces of side rail so these are the two pieces of side rails and they are in one uh, plastic bag uh, then wooden legs two pieces of these wooden legs support legs 15 pieces of support legs uh, and five wooden slats that is this one it is, is this is the one wooden slats and then the rest of the things is the hardware screws bolt flat washer lock washer that is this and it comes with the allen screw also so i guess uh, the only thing which is required from our side or it's not included in this one is a uh, screwdriver to tighten this screw so uh, first thing first i'm going to open all these uh, uh, components and then lay down as show here and then i will show you the actual the way we've um, installed this uh, bed so first step in the assembly process is on the um, uh, footboard uh, you have to first uh, install these legs the way it goes is so the footboard legs are attached to the footboard on the both sides and it looks pretty nice and now the second next step is going to be side side rails are to be attached to the uh, footboard so that one is also pretty straightforward over here there are hinges over given over here and these will go inside this uh, part so basically it is kind of a locking thing i'll show you that in a bit and the same same thing you have to uh, repeat same process you have to repeat for the left side as well as right side side rail, uh, side rail. and then the next step is going to be uh, bringing the opening the other box which has the headboard just to show you the uh, side view so this is the side rail headboard is going to go on this side and this is the foot rest so basically we have to engage this side rail inside the footrest over here and then repeat the same process over here so that it becomes one single piece and once this is done at the center we have to install all these slats but before installing the slats we have to uh, install the legs for all legs on these slats So this is this is the interlocking thing. This side rail goes like this. Once it goes, 
just push it and that's it it is locked pretty straightforward no need of any screwing or anything it just interlocks and the same step we have to repeat on the other side also you could see here pretty well because of the light so it goes inside and then that's it Four slats are ready uh, with legs attached to them and let me show you one slat uh, a slat with a leg, attaching leg to it so basically you have to take the screw lock nut washer and it goes inside this one it's pretty straightforward and then just uh, screw the leg inside this one the only thing is now uh, to tighten this you have to use the allen screw so instead of allen screw i've used the regular our uh, black and decker machine um, the drilling machine and just screwing using this one so by using this one i'm saving a lot of time you could save a lot of time from here no need to uh, tighten it too much and you are ready and now we have to screw these slats to the side rails but uh, before that i'm going to bring the headboard and uh, install the headboard and then screw the uh, slats onto the side rails this is the another box in which the headboard is packed so this is the headboard so let me open this box and uh, uh, take uh, take this headboard to the assembly area where I am installing the bed. And this is how the headboard looks out of box. Uh, this also comes with the assembly instructions and the hardware and the side side frame right frame. It is inside the plastic cover only on this side. So I'm going to remove everything from the box and uh, take this uh, to the area where uh, I'm assembling the uh, bed. Inside the head box there are uh, five major pieces. These two, si uh, two pieces which we have to now attach to the uh, headboard and then these are the side pieces. This also comes with the hardware and it's the same thing basically uh, the screws washer and the lock nut so the step what we are going to do is basically attach the B and C piece to the uh, wooden frame of the headboard and for this we are going to use the G H F and I screws that is that is this one. this one so let me uh, attach B and C part to the headboard and then uh, uh, we'll attach C and D part that is this and this part to the headboard B part and the both the legs have attached to the headboard and now next part is this side and the headboard rest uh, legs are installed and now i have to attach this sides sidings of the sidings to the headboard on one side and on this side and then just uh, lock this uh, base to the headboard assembled thing and now the last step is basically installing the slats so the bed is in place so basically I'm just uh, attaching these slats to the side rails using the provided screw and we are pretty much done.
and here is how the final setup looks like a uh, pretty nice bed the only thing which i found is that uh, even though we are using the um, king size mattress there is a gap around one and a half inches on both sides which is kind of visible on the side side rails as well as on the foot side so this is the only part which i didn't like but other than that this is pretty nice bed the di um, uh, the headboard is good and it fits and looks uh, sturdy and nice